Many are unaware that the name Jesus did not even exist until the late 1500s and then finally became formalized in the early 1600s because of the King James Version. Yet it would really be good if people could learn that the name Jesus should not have been used as his name that is given in English. Before born of Mary, God instructed there was a name to be given to his son, that it was to have very specific meaning to it. And it's the same meaning as the one who led the children of Israel out of the wilderness after they'd been there for 40 years and Moses had died. Then Joshua led them on into the promised land. So the name should be the same in English as that individual, Joshua of the Old Testament. If anyone today is asked about what the name Jesus means, they really don't know. But traditional Christianity, they do know that that name is referring to the Christ. That's what they think of when they hear it. And that's because of centuries of teaching that has used that particular name as far as English is concerned. But it's not correct. It's not the correct name. The name of Jesus in English, translations of the Bible, is not accurate. It is not genuine or truthful. It's not a truthful name that was given by translators. When God gives someone a name, it's important to him, and it should be important to us and to all who profess belief in God. You know, God named Adam, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Israel, and others as well as inspiring the names of many more. However, the name Joshua was to carry the greatest meaning of all in God's plan. So throughout Scripture, it's clear that when God gives a name, that name carries great meaning. Most often, the name reveals some aspect of God's plan and purpose for mankind. Joshua is the name that English translators should have used. And the reason why they did not or will not is steeped in religious corruption and lies that began to work their way into what has become traditional Christianity. The name